Hi everyone, this is Chris B at kpcoolstuff.com. Um, this is going to be a short video on how to make a platform using Blender and Blender 2 FSX toolset. So I've just opened a, um, a new scene up in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and delete the default objects. I'm going to put in orthographic mode. I'm going to set it to imperial for units. I'm going to add a empty. That will be used as my um, project root, which if you were making this for FSX, to actually put it in as a scenery item, you'd want to set up your levels of detail. You would use this as one of your root um, LODs for your object. So let's go ahead and now add a cube. <clears throat> I'm going to put in the dimensions 30 by 30 by, let's do 80. And I'm going to hit Control A, make my scale back to default. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into edit mode. I'm going to grab it, move it Z and Z direction. Okay, that's good. I'm going to name this one, um, I guess, bottom. Go back into edit mode. I'm going to go into face select, choose the top face. Shift S, cursor to select it. I'm going to get rid of my transform widget. I'm not going to go out of edit mode. <coughs> and Shift A to add another cube. Uh, let's see. Let's do it from a side view. Let's do it from the top view. Size. We'll do it about like that. Go to the side view. Go into edit mode. I'm going to size it in Z. I want it to be about a foot thick, so I'm going to go to grease pencil tab. Go to my pro iron ruler. And this is just one way you can do this. Size Z. That's good. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to grab a Z. Okay, that's good. Go out of wireframe mode, out of edit mode. Now I'm going to add a plane. <coughs> so shift A plane size. Oops, can't see it. Let's go back to wireframe mode. Grab C. Grab rate at the same level as your cube you just made. Grab Z. Top down view, edit mode, size, oops, did the wrong one, size, there we go, Go out of edit mode and just make sure our scale hasn't changed. It has not. Make sure that one's scale. Okay, this one we scaled, so we need to make it back to default. Control A, scale, and scale. Okay, they're all to a default one. Okay. 
Now we're going to start adding materials. So I need to make a simple material. Uh, let's make it blue. Okay. And my next one. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can use the default one. Let's change it as well. Let's pull this down. Okay, I'm going to go to my plane. Um, remember that you need to add a material <coughs> to the object that you put an effect on, or you will not see it in FSX. At least that's what I have found using Blender. I don't remember how it is with using GMAX or 3DS. It's been quite a while since I've used them. So let's just go ahead and give it any material. I'm going to give it that light blue material. And I'm going to go to the, F in the um, Blender to FSX toolset tab. And we're going to go to the attach points. And I know that people have been having problems with um, if you hit platform and you do not see the material. It's because you did not initialize your tool set. So if I went platform and hit initialize tool set, you'll see now I have a type. So I want this top item is going to have to have the attach, attach point of platform and no crash. You need both of them. I'm going to give it a simple name, um, plat platform. I'm going to choose my type. Let's do concrete. This object does not need any type of attach point. Let's go down to in our properties, make sure we have that attach point. Let's see, attach point. No, I must be in the wrong thing. Plane. Oh, I didn't um, attach it yet. So I have it set up that I have platform, no crash, um, name, and type is concrete. So I'm going to hit attach. And now you can see that we have attach point tag, yes, platform type concrete, and no crash as well. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is parent these to my empty. So click on that one, that one, that one, and lastly your empty and control P and object or set parent to object and I'm going to keep the transformations. That is basically it. Now we can export. So I'm going to go already set up. Oh, we'll do it again. A Make sure I have that one set as my main one. The reason why I'm making sure I select everything because there's a lot of things when I'm doing modeling that I have items I do not want to be transported. So I do not transport the whole file. Um, so when I go to export, go to DirectX for FSX, I always make sure and I have it default on the version that I did and I fixed for um, Blender 2 FSX. So that's default. I'm also going to tell it to create the XML scenery placement uh, for this model. Now we will need to, oops, I forgot, can't do that yet. I have to give it a location. So we need to get our location here. I forgot to write it down, so I'm going to have to open up one my um, test version of this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, let's see. Where did I click stuff. There it is. And save. Okay, I'm gonna have to open one real fast to get the information I need. Um, recent platform. Oh, phew, I have two of them with the same name. Oh, well. 
Okay, there's what I need. So I'm going to open up Notepad. Control C. Control V. Control C. Control V. And heading, well, the heading doesn't really make a difference. So altitude is zero. So now I can go back to this one. I think I already had altitude in the buffer. So we'll put that. This one. I think I had my heading 110, which it doesn't really make a difference, but I'm going to put it. Altitude, I want zero. Oh, I forgot. I almost messed up. I forgot to do friendly name. And generate a guide. Okay, so now we're ready to export. I'm going to save, file, export, DirectX. I want to create my BGL file, and I'm going to put it right here, and export. So the export went through. I can go to that folder. Uh, let's see. There it is. There's my BGL file. Copy. I am going to... <clears throat> open my scenery um, add-on directory in my flight simulator. I'm going to delete the one I had previously, paste our new one, and now we will test it. I put mine at a little town or airport in Woodlake in California. So I will go there. And there we go. So that's what it takes to make one. I will make my um, test blender file available and this video. Okay, thanks everyone.